All right, a couple of things on this video. The first on the right, what we're going to do is I want you to notice uh, just the correlation between the lower body action and the path of the arm. On the right is 2018. And what you're going to notice is notice how, number one, the horizontal handbrake as he starts to take uh, the ball out. It's going to be a long sweeping action, whereas the front leg wants to move more in a straight direction. So you, you, see, you see that? So this is going to be very long. He's just not in a position to throw. But what you're also going to notice, too, is notice how the front leg or hip starts to open prematurely. Anytime that the front uh, hip starts to open, this is a front hip dominant action. And anytime that starts to open, it's an automatic disconnection from the arm. Because what will happen... Um, is the body's ultimate goal is to, to throw the baseball. So anytime that the lower body starts to uh, move open in this direction, what you're going to notice is that the arm will just kind of loiter. It'll just start to move vertical. It's not really loading. It's not doing much uh, until it's too late. Now on the left, what you're going to notice is, is this. Watch how, um, how the arm and the front leg action really start to mirror each other, really starting to create a stretch. They're moving in opposite directions. Uh, really, really good timing. But the big thing that you're going to notice here is watch how it's the back hip. And we'll use the knee for an example. But watch how it's the back hip that's the driver. It's actually popping open the front hip to where here it's just the opposite. The front hip is opening early. It's kind of pulling the back hip through. So even though they look similar, they're totally different. But what's happening is that anytime that I can uh, start to uh, match up the two by becoming more back hip dominant, not only does it maximize the stretch reflex, but it's also going to allow the body to move a lot faster. So you're going to see as the back hip starts to turn and open there, that's when his front hip starts to open. See that? It's almost as if the back hip is popping open the front to where here, the front's opening on its own. So it's never really forcing the arm. It's never really pressuring the arm to have to move faster. And it's not able to just connect the energy from the lower half to the upper half. So on the right is the impression that you get when you feel like you're throwing it with all arm. On the left, when you start to see this type of action, it's when the ball just seems to jump out and you, you really didn't feel it.